So for a start, I just want to say, oh fucking hell, I just knocked that over, this is going great. Just ignore the mess uh, behind me and here. I mean, it's not too bad actually in the framing of the camera, but you know, I'm still on a break in that. And ignore me, I just woke up. But I thought I wanted to cover this because people have been tweeting at me like, are you going to talk about it? And no, I don't know, but I don't even know what I'm going to name this yet because I don't want to make it look like I'm trying to get views off of a leak that I'm 110% sure is complete bullshit. But I wanted to just talk about it and just be like, look, this is, it's fake, it's just speculation, and here's why. So, here we got the website, uh, it's, uh, mm. Anyway, so here's the website, it's, uh, Game Actuality, uh, it's a French website, uh, the ASO is all in French, so it's translated, so just remember that the, the, the sentences, if they make a little bit less sense, don't be like, oh, it's typed like a 12-year-old, obviously it's wrong. It's just because it's, it's translated, so it's gonna be, you know, a little bit weird, but... Uh, here we have, it says, Assassin's Creed Empire, New System and Hero. The image is, uh, concept art from 20... Uh, 2010? 2011? I don't know, it's really, really old. Like, this is way back, like, before Black Flag kind of time. And so it says here, is a little introduction. So we've got, finally, we know a little more about the next episode of Assassin's Creed Empire. That doesn't even make sense, but... We'll forgive it. After Assassin's Creed Syndicate, you've sort of short, took a short one year break to concoct a new formula. Game News was able to learn more about the project. We can assure you of the authenticity of the information. Our source is very well informed since it's very close to Ubisoft. That is That means nothing, literally nothing, because you that, you can't you're saying that there's no proof you're just saying it. i so i can make a claim like oh in assassin's creed empire there will be flying j j bicycles and I, j don't worry the authenticity of this information is is credible because i've said so it that's not really you can't say that you need to prove it not saying that it's not credible it very well much like it could be but it's 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 like probably probably not especially considering what they listed and i'm like yeah no nah, that's pretty not true at all. So, uh, it says what we know about Assassin's Creed Empire. So the first point is the hero of this new adventure will be called Bayek. <laughs> Willy. Uh, do, uh, they do not have official spelling. It is a former ancestor slave of Altair. All right, does that make sense? I mean, does it make sense? Does Altair's lineage stretch back to Egypt? I don't know. We, I mean, we literally, we don't know, but is it a thing? Could it be a thing? I mean, it very well could be a thing, but... The thing that they list later on makes me think that it's 100% just not a thing because of what they did. So, uh, the time would be that of antiquity in the times of the pharaohs in Egypt with deserts and mirages. I don't really know why they did that. And the thing is, this is literally, the thing about Altair being Altair's ancestor is taken from a website that listed the game. So, you know, when we got all those listings and it was all just, we know that it's all just, it was all just speculation. It uh, said, oh, it's a former ancestor of Altair. Like that was one of the pieces of information that was on this website that listed Assassin's Creed Empire. And so uh, I'm assuming because all these points are just taken from various places and put together into this, this is what we think we know about the game from places, not from anything in particular. So, I mean, that's that. Next, it says a level system. So, RPG would be set up. Again, it's translated, so, you know. Uh, the enemies have levels, and the hero would have a clean level to rise. Uh, so, that would mean, so, obviously, just, like, you know, you need syndicate. Um, the outfit of your character is fully customizable, which I suppose you'd expect. Uh, Eagle Vision, however, is no longer available. You can call and direct your eager... Eager... Mm. Call and direct your eagle to spot and mark your enemies in the manner of a drone in Watch Dogs 2 or Ghost Recon Wildlands. I... That is not... That doesn't make sense. Okay, so... Let's just talk about the eagle thing for a minute. So, so... One... If you're playing as Altea's ancestor, you gotta have eagle vision. Why would they not have eagle vision? That doesn't make any fucking sense. You're playing as Altea's ancestor. Altea has eagle vision. He has a hugely high concentration of fursive DNA. Any of his ancestors, especially so close to a time period, like, because he's so far back, his ancestors are going to, they're going to have high concentration of first of DNA, they're going to use Eagle Vision. It makes no sense to remove that from the game, it's such an iconic part of the game, and it literally, it, it does, it, like, lore-wise, it makes no sense for the character not to have Eagle Vision. And adding to this, lore-wise, it makes no fucking sense for this character to be able to control a fucking Eagle. It just doesn't make sense in multiple ways. One, how does he control the eagle and how does he use it to mark enemies? Does he see through the eagle's eyes? Is that a thing he does? Probably not. And also, 
how does the dude who's in the animus see the eagle and use the control the eagle because you're not reliving the eagle's memories you're reliving your ancestors memories so it can't be like an animus thing an animus hack fuck off it doesn't make any sense law wise at all it's completely just ridiculous <laughs> No. And also, this is taken from, again, another website that we talked about before on, I think it was Kill Chronicle or something, that had all this extra information, like, oh, the game will have a co-op mode and stuff like that. And it's like, no. Nah. But it won't, though, will it? You're just making this up. And it's, oh, it's all Toyo's ancestors. Shut the fuck up. The next thing is wild animals such as elephants and crocodiles could be hunted. Well, that makes sense. It's ancient Egypt. Could look that up on Wikipedia. At the moment, the game will be in a very advanced stage of development. Okay, would expect that too, obviously. There's nothing credible in this. The graphics would be similar to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Would it though? Because they're starting from scratch, so you would have thought it would look different from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I don't think that makes any sense, so whatever. The leaks and belt online would be drawn from the real project. Now, this leads to a link, and if you click the link, it takes you to the website again. And this essentially, right, is uh, where things get a bit tricky. Uh, I mean, for them, not for us. They're, they're, they're liars. So this says, Assassin's Creed Empire 1 image leak. So this says, the leaks unveiled online would be drawn from the real project. This is not Assassin's Creed. Confirmed it's not Assassin's Creed by Amar Azazia on Reddit. He confirmed this is not Assassin's Creed. Furthermore, I confirmed this was not Assassin's Creed. So what are you saying? Suddenly, Peter Tran's real? Even though I confirmed it was fake, along with Ethan and Tyler and Nick? And we also confirmed this was fake. So what do you mean? So if this is real, if this, if you're claiming that this is real, and this is, this is actually real due to your leak, leak, your, your really credible leaker, then this is also complete bullshit too. Because that last point, is a lie. It's literally a lie because we know it's fake. The article is just lying and that's simply completely plain to see. Everything else is there's a bit it's up for debate. You can you can prove it one way or the other way or neither way to be honest because there's no confirmation so you can just claim it and be like but we know this and there's no way of disproving it. But that last one disproves everything. Because they're saying this information comes from a credible source that's close to Ubisoft. And that credible source claimed that these images were from the real project. And we know for a fact that they aren't. So, if the credible source is saying that one, and he's also saying the other ones, that means all of the other ones are bullshit also. So, there's that. Uh, the last thing also says... Great card, wildlife, and RPG is what Ubisoft's new recipe uh, should attract a new audience and re-entice fans from the very first hour. The game should be announced at, at the next E3, announced in October 2017. Now, we don't know when it's going to be announced, obviously they're just guessing, oh, it'll be E3. The October 2017 is from one of those listings. Again, everything that is here has been mentioned before, it's, it's nothing new. Nothing at all new. It's taken from various other websites. It's mere speculation. And it's also claiming these images that we know aren't real are real. Fake. It's just bullshit fake article about fucking bullshit. So I hope that you got a bit educated there. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're so, you're so arrogant that you think you're right. I know I'm right. I just proved I'm right. And that's that's really it, isn't it? It's it's the leak is fake. Um, it's a website. What I think is it's a website trying to get clicks, trying to get views, trying to be relevant, um, uh, using something they don't fully understand. They've you know found from other websites that are like, oh we can make an article out of this. People will be interested in Assassin's Creed Empire, not really understanding you know it hasn't been announced. We don't actually know anything. You know that kind of thing. And so that's that. Just trying to stay. Uh, relevant. So I don't blame you, game actuality. You just you're just trying to do your best. It's all right. It's all right. But there we have it. There we have it. Assassin's Creed Empire new leaks just proved them to be fake and to be bullshit. So I hope you enjoyed. But that's it for this video. Again, I am of course still on a break until April the 22nd. So if there is anything actual happening and other than anything to talk about, you know, obviously I'll do it as well as Kill Connor Club, Kill Connor Clubhouse. But until then, uh, continue with the Shadow Immortal Let's Play, and I'll be back on the 22nd, not on the 22nd. I'll be probably back on like the 24th. 
because Friends Hangout is a Saturday. But I'll be, still be back and we'll be talking about. I have some good ideas for some videos and stuff that we can discuss, uh, Assassin's Creed stuff and other stuff. Um, and it'll be a good time, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and I've got a video that I need to talk about ad revenue and uh, YouTube's ad system and what's been going on with that because I I, I genuinely need to address it. Uh, but if you understand what's been happening, uh, I would really, really appreciate you going down into the description, hitting the Patreon link, uh, going over to As Always, because there is a ton of extra content over there that we put a lot of work into, and you can support us at the same time, and that would really, really, really help now, uh, of all times, due to the um, issue we're getting with the ads uh, on YouTube, because of it's just a mess. But I will address it um, maybe in a few days, and we can think of some ideas in order to, you know, help the channel stay alive through this time where ad revenue has plummeted by something like 40%, which is fucking horrible. Uh, but thank you guys uh, for uh, watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Leaping from my places, rivers are flowing red, now we're defying, now, now we're uniting, go watching from the skies, uh, these streets are burning, now uh, they're starting fire. Uh, I'm gonna take it to them all.